All right, next time you get on an airplane, rather than coming through the door and going to the right back to your seat, turn left for a second and just look into the cockpit. If you're flying on American Eagle, United Express, or Delta Connection, the real little planes, the smiling co-pilot might look younger than some college graduates. There is, of course, a big pilot shortage in America, and the small planes get the most inexperienced pilots. Some airlines are canceling flights because they don't have enough pilots. For years, the regional airlines, the small airlines that contract with American and Delta and United, well, they paid next to nothing. Thus, fewer people got into the pipeline to be pilots. Now we have a big pilot shortage. Republic Airlines operates 1,000 regional flights a day for American United and Delta. They want to change the rules. Since 2013, both the captain and first officer needed a minimum of 1,500 hours before starting in the airline business. Now Republic says they can safely train first officers with just 750 hours. Flight Global reports Republic Airlines told the Department of Transportation their training is as good as the U.S. military and thus should be allowed the same military exemption it's 750 hours. Mark Dumbroff, aviation attorney, represented a number of airlines and manufacturers through the years, joins us now. You know that asking for this is not going to sit well with the public. Well, actually, I think once somebody pulled back the curtain on what's being asked for and how we got to where we are, it should sit well with the public, Leland. Um, I, th I think if one realizes that the rule regarding 1,500 hours is actually a function of an accident in 2009, and it really had nothing to do with the cause of the accident. It was a function of Congress reacting, in effect, to the families who lost their loved ones in that accident. Uh, and, and the rule went to 1,500 hours, even though both pilots in the cockpit of the accident aircraft had an excess of 1,500 hours. And even the FAA takes the position that it's the quality of the hours and not the quantity of the hours. But Congress reacted politically um, and Congress, enacted Congress, in the effort. You, you can imagine the, the shock on this show of Congress acting politically uh, to anything. It just never happened before. I know. Um, this I is know. From and actually... This is Republicans. It should not be in the air safety area that they react politically, yeah. however. Yeah, Republic Air Airlines uh, sent a uh, note, evidently said they might be willing to do an interview with us, which would be interesting. Uh, by, ac by accepting the proposed pathway, the FAA would take a significant step in addressing the pilot shortage, a growing crisis that threatens to eliminate air service to 90 million Americans in small and mid-sized uh, cities. You yourself uh, you know, advise the airlines on risk management, right? I, mm -hmm. it, I do. It, how does it work? God forbid that there's a crash a, a year from now on a Republic Airlines flight uh, that had a pilot that didn't have 1,500 hours. Boy, I, well, I feel like this would be a well, plane's attorney's dream. I, I think, though, that one really has to look at the exemption that Republic is asking for. What they're asking for is not that the rule be done away with, but there's been a lot of change in the airline industry since 2009. We've not had a catastrophic U.S. airline accident since 2009. What Republic is asking for is that they have created something called the Lift Academy, the leadership in flight training, their own basically in-house academy. And it's a very structured training program. Program. And really, it equates in many respects to a U.S. military type of training program for military pilots. So what, what they are seeking is the ability to bring people in, bring pilots in, put them through this academy, and it's very structured, it's regulated by, overseen by the FAA, okay. and then bring them in on the air transport pilot side, in other words, bring them into the right seat of the cockpit. So it's a highly controlled setting, and it's, it's not just arbitrarily saying we want to cut the 1,500 well, and, hours yeah, you make in a, half. You, you make a great point. You've got a military exemption at the same number. Uh, and at some point, you could say, well, why not have 3,000 hours or 5,000 hours, and we'd have even fewer pilots. Mark, <coughs> we got to run. It was good chatting. Good talking to yeah. you, Leland. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.